section 2.6 greens function construction from images this is 2.6 section of jackson and now we will construct our greens function from the images as you know we have studied the geometry earlier and the simplest geometry was that if we are having a sphere and a sphere is of radius A and our source charge is here which is Q and emit charge here which was Q prime and this was our observation point which was X this was Y and this distance was Y prime you remember the geometry this was our observation point and it was a grounded conducting sphere so phi on the surface was equal to zero and del square we have proved this that del square phi is equal to minus k 4 phi q and delta x minus y and we knew the condition that phi of x is equal to 0 for x equals a. When we are on the surface of the sphere, our potential is equal to 0. And the equation for from the the potential in terms of the Green's function we have written earlier that phi of x is equal to on a volume d cube x prime k rho of x x prime so of x prime and x minus x prime absolute and then there was an additional term which was 1 over 4 pi and integral on a closed surface and here we were having two uh, parameters and let me write this thing over here not here so that we can accommodate so plus here and 1 over 4 pi surface integral and this was 1 minus 1 over x minus x prime curly phi over curly n prime minus phi of x prime and curly over curly n prime 1 over x minus x prime and this is on the d a prime you remember the first one was the potential term which required no boundary this was the our earlier potential that we found from Gauss's law it required no boundary here and then these two were the terms which were requiring a boundary and the first term was that electric field R curly phi over curly N means it will be specified on a boundary If electric field will be specified on a boundary, then we will use this expression and this will be equal to zero. And if the geometry will be such that phi will be specified on a boundary, phi is specified, means the potential is specified on a boundary. Then in this situation, this will be equal to zero. You 
remember, when pi is specified on a boundary, this was a Dirichlet boundary condition. And when electric field was specified on a boundary, this was Newman boundary condition. So the potential, this is the potential which requires no boundaries. And this is actually the term which you call the limiting condition, which you call the boundary conditions. These are actually the terms which gives you the definite solution. You know that when you derivate something or integrate something, then there, are, there is an integration, there is a constant of integration in a general integral. So that constant of integration, when you find out that constant of integration, then you say that now this is the according to the geometry solution. So this is the general solution of potential. And when it is according to the geometry of the problem, then it is the definite solution of that thing. Now on the geometry there are then further two things. Either potential will be specified on a boundary or electric field will be specified on the boundary. At the same time only one of it will be specified on a boundary, not both. So if electric field is specified on a boundary, we will take this expression and calculate. If on the boundary potential is specified, then we will take this term and will calculate the potential. So this will actually give us the full solution of the potential. If I consider this example, then I know that phi is specified on a boundary. It is a grounded conducting sphere. It means the potential of the surface of the body or the geometry is equal to zero. So potential is specified on the boundary. I will solve this term. This term will be equal to zero. So this term plus this term will give me the actual solution. Right? So we will construct our uh, uh, Green's function from this. Source charge, this source charge is positive, it will induce Q prime is a negative image charge. We have done this geometry and now I am uh, calculating uh, or I am just drawing another figure which will be more uh, elaborating than this one. Let's say we are having A sphere and this sphere is also having radius A and let's say this is one axis our observation point is actually point P which is here and it is at a distance X while our source point where our charges is actually P prime and this is having, this is eight a distance x prime from the center. And if I consider their projections on the plane, like this one, then I can write here and then over here. So from an axis like this is one axis and this is another axis. So this is the plane of it. These are actually the plane of, these are actually the points, the projection points of P here and of P prime here. So this angle and then this angle. Now as this is P, so this angle is pi. And as this point is P prime, so this will be pi prime. This is the azimuthal angle and spherical polar coordinates is U2. This is your x-axis, this is your y-axis and this is 
the z-axis. So the projection is on xy plane and I have uh, marked their angles. Similarly, from the z-axis, the zenith angle, to the p prime, it will be theta prime. And to the p, it will be theta. So what's the angle between p prime and p? This angle I call is gamma. Clear? So in my drawing you are not understanding then in your book a very clear drawing is there and you can understand from there as well. Just this is our observation point. This is our source charge point. Then I have just drawn their projections on the xy plane so the phi angle the azimuthal angle there is phi and pi prime while the zenith angle is theta and theta prime and the angle between the observation point and the source point where the charge is is actually gamma right so the spherical polar coordinates are actually utilized here now what about our Green's function? Our Green's function x x prime is equal to q over x minus x prime. I'm no, not writing k here. And plus q prime by x minus x double prime. Because this one for this is actually your x minus y and x minus y prime, the earlier geometry. So I have just changed them to x prime and x double prime. And this is our potential which I got by Green's function. Now here I will do few changes here. Means this is the potential due to source. This is the potential due to the image. So the net, I am just changing a uh, few things with it with Q equals 1. If I take that the charge is a unity charge, so Q is equal to 1 at x prime. The source charge is unity then what about Q prime? You know that Q prime is minus Q A over Y, so now it is A over X prime because Y has become X prime. Y prime has become X double prime. And this is the image charge, so what this will be? This will be minus A over X prime because this Q is equal to 1. What about the y prime, which I am now writing x double prime. y prime was equal to a squared over y. So over y I am writing x prime. And this will be in the direction of x prime over x prime. This is the position, position of image charge image charge image q which is q prime actually now this one you remember this is actually y prime in this geometry we call this y prime because the image charge is y prime distance so i can finally write my green's function is g of x x prime is equal to 1 over x minus x prime plus better I write minus here because this minus here and this is a over x prime and x minus a square over x prime square 
and then I will write this expine vector because just look into this one a square over x prime x prime x prime is x prime square and then x prime vector with it so I have written my Green's function in that form now as you know that this term is actually this one which is the potential and this potential requires no boundary when I would like to make this potential according to my geometry then I will put the geometry in it the geometry terms are two one is the electric field specification on the boundary the other is the potential specification on the boundary so we will have to adopt or take this term because on our geometry phi is specified on the boundary potential is specified on the boundary so we will come here and there will be few things which we will incorporate here the very first one that g of x x prime is equal to g of x prime x and this will be due to the symmetry okay due to the symmetry property you know they are symmetrical if I change x with x prime no effect is coming in here they are symmetrical absolute so changing this with this or this with this the things will remain the same look here like my observation source charge is here and the observation point is here but if I change these two like source charge comes here and observation point come here no problem it will be the same geometry so the next that I am having is that g x x prime h x equals and x equals a if I calculate this one and x equals a then this should be 0 why? what I am doing actually the value of the potential the value of the Green's function and x equal to a means you are on the surface of the sphere and on the surface of the sphere the potential is equal to 0 same is true if I write g x x prime and it x prime equals a then this is also equal to zero what does it mean? it means whether you move your observation point to the surface of the sphere the potential is zero or you move your source to the surface of the sphere the potential is again zero so g is equal to 0 for both of these g is equal to 0 for either source or 